Welcome to our channel. Let's do it together. Mommy, can we cook peri peri chicken today? Of course, my darling. For the ingredients, we're going to need white vinegar, olive oil, lemon juice, zest of lemon, black pepper, paprika salt, oregano, red onions, garlic, bell peppers. For the bell peppers, we like it roasted so it gives flavor and aroma for, for the chicken. So it tastes more delicious. Okay. Now that our peppers are all roasted, we will gonna put it inside the blender. I will put in all the hot ingredients and my little darling will help me to put these ingredients. Okay, let's do it. Can you put first the white vinegar? This one. Slowly put it inside. Okay. And then next is olive oil. Like that. Then. Next. What is that? Lemon juice. Yeah. And this one is what? Says of lemon. Yeah. And this is paprika, salt, oregano, and black peppers. And we're gonna put all the onions. This is one red onions, and this is like 10 garlic. And we're gonna put everything, all of these roasted peppers. Now that we put everything in the blender, we're now gonna blend it. It's gonna be like this. It looks like this when it's all blended. That's why I really like Ninja blenders. They really work so fast. Right? Yeah! Now we're gonna put it in the saucepan. Now it's in the stove. We have to wait 20 minutes. Just keep in stirring like every now and then so that the sauce will not get burned under. Our sauce already boiling and it's getting thicker. So we're looking for this consistency and then we're gonna taste the balance of sourness and saltiness because this is a kids friendly peri peri chicken. So it's not supposed to be spicy. So for this, I want to incorporate like two spoon of yogurt. Yeah, like that. So it's gonna be like more tastier. For the yogurt, I like to use this Greek yogurt. From Kirkland. Yeah, we just bought it from Costco. Actually. So now we have to taste it. Hold on, look at that. Mm. Now we have to see and check the taste. If my sauce is perfect. No, you're wrong. If it's approved by my darling. Mm. Also, we can put in the chicken. Here's our chicken. I already cleaned it. And I already marinated it like two hours ago with olive oil. Teaspoon of salt. Uh, two tablespoon of lemon so we have to put like that on the chicken so it will not create, give some smell and if you notice I also put some plastic cling on my chopping board so it will not transfer the bacteria the salmonella so now I have to cut the chicken like this we're gonna get the spine because we don't need this once we cook it we just need the scissors by the way, this is a kitchen scissors. I like using the scissors because it's more precise rather than the, the knife one cutting the chicken. There you go. I already took out the spine. Darling, can you hold better the camera? Can you stand a little bit like that? I want to show them how I gonna press the breast. You have to press the breast to flatten it so it's going to be evenly cooked once they are in the oven. There you go. That's it for the chicken. 
We're gonna put the sauce in the chicken. The sauce, it's like one and a half cup. So we just gonna put this. By the way, the sauce is already cooled down. So we just gonna marinate it. Just like uh, a minimum of two hours. Or if you have more time, you can leave it until overnight. After that, after the marination, so it's gonna be tasty. Then we're gonna cook it in the oven under like 350 Fahrenheit for an hour and 20 minutes. So basically, it's gonna be look like that. Make sure everything is incorporated. Everything has a sauce. You know? Mm, it smells so good. Oh, really? Yeah. Mm. Yeah, for sure, because sometimes you cannot eat the peri peri chicken from the restaurant because it's too spicy. But this one, mommy, make a kids friendly version. Yeah. It's not spicy. It's just perfect. That's it. Gonna cover it with the aluminum foil. Yeah, with the aluminum foil. We already marinate our chicken for overnight and we're ready to I'll cook this in the oven so we're gonna put it here in our baking pan and I put parchment paper so it's easy to clean so I will put it just like this exactly like that and I want to put this thing it's good also go okay I'll put the sauce like that and we're gonna put it in the oven for one hour and 20 minutes and then Halfway, you have to turn it in the other side. For our side dish, I decided to make the baby potatoes. Cut it in half, and you have to just make a, a little slice, like, like that. Then after you slice like that, you do like this. Everything like that. It's like a mango, but a mini version. Yeah, just like once we cut the mango, and you do like that. Comment down below. If you know what the shape is this, what you call. So I gonna cook it with the peri peri chicken to save at the same time the electricity because you have to cook the chicken inside the oven for like an hour and a half. So we get we will also do the roasted potatoes we're gonna put this lemon juice it's just like uh, one one fourth okay. steak spices you can add a bit more later on and this is dried oregano and thyme it smells so good it tastes so good honestly if you taste it oh so delicious and olive oil and then we have to mix it all together and we can put it inside the oven we're just gonna paste it down so it's gonna be crunchy and gonna be um more delicious if you could cook it first face down so i sprinkle some of the steak spices on top of it and I'm gonna put inside the oven uh, like 30 minutes and then we have to flip it back so that's the setting of the oven it's 350 Fahrenheit and I set it to one hour and 20 minutes and these are the chicken I cook them together so we save the electricity but um, potatoes gonna be like 30 minutes after that we have to flip it on the other and side look at that and I'll just flip them 
Now is everything's flip. We gonna put it back inside the oven for another 30 minutes. And this one is how it's look like now. I'm gonna taste it. Mmm. So good. so good yeah it's so like good. french fries yeah we have to give some to your daddy guys this is the look of the chicken peri peri chicken that we cook hey. yes so i just already transfer it into the serving dish and i will just gonna put all these baked potatoes around it just like that and i'll show you later on everything one is done this is how it look like see yum yum so good bye, bye. thank you for watching see you in the next video